I remove from Cobalt and I make this sequence of video because Jota asked me to do a video for the guys that uh, uh, like to begin to fly with uh, aircraft to be a good pilot. Uh, this is episode uh, we talking about uh, some of the best uh, pilot on planet sites and we make some interview what I can recommend it to the beginner is uh, fly on little squad because uh, if you fly with a lot of guys you, you can see in this video it's my friend from the test server and uh, it's not easy to coordinate and it's better to have a blue team from four squad and in every squad are uh, five uh, pilots and uh, if you need you can call the alpha squad the bravo squad to support you to have the air domain so uh, now we will begin with first interview with uh, kebab from jesters he's a player uh, playing on Cobalt. Hi Kebab, uh, thank you for the interview. How do you actually get to the afterburner fuel cert now? How do you uh, make... Yeah, how do you make sure that's certed? Yes, I have uh, afterburner. Uh, because some guys uh, yeah. don't like secondary weapon at... Uh, the dogfight. Well, no, it's not necessarily true. You know, if um, if you see a pack of them flying around with lock-ons, you're gonna need to go and. Shoot them with lock -ons. Fuoco, sono un amico. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I is uh, good for uh, higher combat. But uh, a good player can uh, destroy another aircraft uh, with the only primary weapon. Maybe, maybe, but the coyotes allow you to be quite maneuverable. So, like in the situation where you're uh, you're both able to do perfect damage with the nose gun, the coyote will win, literally because he he can finish you with with um, really good maneuverability at the end of the fight. So, like, you have to you have to acknowledge that these weapons exist, and there is a, a certain there's it's basically dirty dirty play, you know, unsportsmanship behavior. But um, if you are extremely good at hitting with the nose gun, then you will be able to finish kills very quickly with the coyotes at the expense of um, afterburners. So you can only be maneuverable for a short period of time because you're not having the afterburner fuel. But maybe that's all the time you need. You know, if you're um, if you're doing a rushdown tactic, the coyotes work very well with that. Oh yes. Are right, you good? So, um, so you're familiar with the way that the um, the etiquette of the dogfight on the test server. You uh, sort of you face each other and then you go past and turn and the fight starts. Yeah, with yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's uh, let's do one. We'll uh, pass and go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we're okay. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll we'll wait till you get there. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, me, bro. Move, move. Ed uno sai TSB. I'm um, towards the south. Oh, do you see me now? Identificato un mosquito della Repubblica. Ha avvistato un mosquito della RT. Yep. Avvistato site nemico! Vivo mi sto cagando addosso. 
Sto scherzando, ma io odio queste robe. Vabbè. So yeah, I'm, um, I mean, yeah, I'm kind of mediocre at the dogfighting. Oh look, somebody else here too. Alright, so, uh, yeah, we'll just, I'm just gonna back up a little bit, we'll pass and go. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go. Visuale tu mosquito! Identificato un moschito della Repubblica. Site nell'area. Ha avvistato un moschito della RT. Però vabbè, è difficile hit you. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's. Ha avvistato okay. site nemico. Yeah, I'm gonna need a little bit of warming up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you are uh, pretty good at the scythe. But, uh... Okay, dude, let's do another one. I need to, yeah, yeah. uh, I need to warm up a little bit. So, yeah. uh... Me too, don't worry. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll just have some sparring. So, yeah, we'll just go, just do, like, uh, a few in a row. Need to, uh... Get used to the way that this, this man fires. So I'm only landing like a couple of bullets. Yeah, that's done. <laughs> Oh, I'm definitely better with the Reaver, but um, the Mozzie's better against the Scythe anyway. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> right. I can I can try in the Reaver, but... Uh... Yeah. Well, the Reaver's got a lot of damage, but at the moment, I mean, the reason why I'm in the Mozzie is because, um, you know, I need to I need to be able to hit this guy before I can, before I can kill him. Um, and I won't. I just at the moment I won't. I won't learn to hit him in the Reaver. I don't know. The the Mozzie moves better to learn. Um, well, I don't know. I mean, we could do side versus side, but um, not much point. Anyway, let's just um, just keep doing them. I'm pretty sure, though, that you know the scythe well enough to uh, to really take advantage of it. Uh, that there might not be that much I can do for you. Like it's difficult to hit you at all times. However, I know that Matty Ace would be able to hit you at the moment. Yeah. I can also predict when you do that roll, I can predict where you're going to be. Why okay, stop? Huh? No, no, I'm not going to die. I'm going to die. I mean, a lot, of your, uh, a lot of the way that you move is very uh, difficult to predict for me. Um, I'm getting there. I mean, it'll take me a little while to get used to the way, just the, the individual way that you fly and the, the loops that you like to do. That last... Um, that last loop is quite tight. 
Um, and it's quite easy to predict where you're going to be at the end of it. Um, that's pretty much the only help that I can give you at, at the moment, really, though. Because that's the only time when I've landed hits on you. Like, is uh, after you've done uh, the bottom of the loop. But it's literally like one or two bullets, so it's like hardly, uh, it's hardly a problem. Side Killing me quite area. easily. <laughs> anyway, let's um, let's do another one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> try and uh, try and train my aim in a little bit. Site Vanu identificato. Yeah, this is. Um much more rush down now to make sure that I can because if I get used to the way that you're moving and the rush down then I stand a better chance but you still win uh, have that accuracy but I try rush down on you oh. um, so one thing that these guys like to do is to uh, I've noticed this. They sort of uh, they hover. They get into a nice hover with a bit of momentum sideways, uh, and then they literally just the turret that's slowly uh, changing, slowly changing direction. So if I just give you a move across roads again, I don't really see where you are. You're actually doing it quite well. I'm sure, you know what it is. This you know you uh, you sort of move very slowly in a loop. Whilst um, maintaining your your aim on the target. Oh, there you are. You know, um, you might have seen these guys do it. So uh, you'll be hovering against each other, and literally they will maintain this really slow loop without necessarily using an afterburner to reverse. They'll um, they'll keep m much like a just floating turret like this. And um, and they will literally just hold the space bar and do this. Maybe switch to the control when they're upside down. Yeah. Um, and it means that if they do get, you know, if a street, if they know that a, bu a stream of bullets is going to come in, then they can just uh, tap the space bar and immediately pull out of it whilst keeping the vast majority of their fuel. That's actually something that I don't do very well. I know the theory. I just can't really do it. I mean. If I practiced for like every day for a month, maybe I'd get it by the end of the by the end of the month. But I just can't be bothered to practice that much. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, so practicing these like one-on-one -on -one dogfight type aim situation, like even um, even if you don't win, um, it's a better opportunity to uh, to learn how to lead and you know get your aim on target and they stuff. Don't um, um, what's your primary weapon, kebab? Yeah. The waste, yeah. The only way that you can make the Vortec work... Alright, Mimmel, you're gonna love this, right? This is the way that you make the Vortec so work these ladder. days. You need to fly with maxed out stealth airframe. And you literally just, uh, afterburner. And you literally just, uh, come up to people. When you see them, you coast in as close as you can before they realize that you're there and if they do anything you immediately try and one clip them um, and if they respond to you then you've got all of that afterburner fuel to get away you might even use racer for this you, um, if you want to say take the example of you want to pick a single aircraft out of a crowd of aircraft your best option is to have the the vortex with the magazine size racer airframe and full stealth on your uh, aircraft so you can get in there at about 370 kph um, and just literally try to one clip them if you fail you turn around and you just leave and you'll always be able to come back into that airspace without being a dot on their minimap but it's difficult to chase you um, if they uh, yeah like that's that's pretty much the the only use for the vortex rotary as far as I'm concerned right now so I just I use the the Mustang all the time now. It's a bit of a shame. Nerfing the, the, the ammo size from 45 to 33 was too much. Too, it's too little ammo. 
Yeah, it's amazing. You just blow them up. Like that's what. Um, I'll, sometimes I'll do that if um, if I've just been ganked by uh, by Matty Ace or any of his crew or Fool for that matter or any of their crew. Um, I'll literally just come back with uh, an assassination agenda for whoever it was that killed me. Because apart from anything else, if you uh, if 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 they kill you and then you immediately come back and kill them, they'll probably leave you alone for a bit. <laughs> like they don't like to be killed. No, Ricky, you 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 do you are very good. Um, the way the way that your scythe moves is very difficult to hit. You're constantly bringing uh, to an extreme. You know, you, you're bringing it to an extreme motion of direction to uh, to evade shots. Oh my cry. But at the same time, um, these these pilots that are better than me, they're they're quick enough to sort of lock down that. So you have to constantly change all the time your direction. Um, but at the same time, like you are you are avoiding. I, I, it's not possible for me to do damage back to you in a mozzie, which is. Um, you know, that's, that's better than the, but like the average jesters that I try and train, so... Like the average, honestly, the average jesters that I try and train, I just shoot them, I one-clip them with the mozzie. Um... Alright, so... Reva time. <laughs> Alright, we'll pass and go. <laughs> Does anybody else want to join me? <laughs> I'd like to win one. <laughs> yeah, let's 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 have a duel. I mean, uh, then then you guys can compare. To be fair. Oh, oh. Visuale su mosquito. Ha visto un mosquito della RT. You don't know this guy. But I duel this guy. Try and get his attention. Yeah, oh, I guess he's just we watching. We are four versus one. I don't think that. Memo, to... memo, come on, let's uh, memo, let's have a, let's have a duel. We'll pass and go. It's such a it's such a slim profile. Dude, yeah, it, it's it's the best dogfighter, honestly. It really is. Yeah. <laughs> if I uh, if I spent more time. Yeah. Well. It, it... And you're able to. Yeah, um... he you're able to move in any direction that you want to, really. And um, you still have uh, you still have the projectile velocity to be accurate as well at that, like whilst being able to. It's it's fucking it's retarded, really. I don't understand why they make it so uh, so good compared to the other two. Yeah, sure. Yeah.